I'm just posting up a little help for these offline homework assignments, mainly to help you with using Excel with different distributions and how we can use Minitab to help us with distributions. So we're going to take a look at this first problem here. We're looking at the triangular probability distribution for this, and so we're going to use that to answer some of these probability questions. And I'm going to show you how to use Minitab to help. So, we, so we're given the mode, the minimum value, and the maximum value. The minimum value being 420,000 and the maximum value being 950,000. We're going to look how we can find the probability that the cost will be greater than that to 700,000. And then we're going to look at the, what is the probability that the cost would be less than the mode. And then we're going to use an illustrate using Minitab, the Minitab graph that will illustrate those results. So I'm going to pull up Minitab and answer these questions. So here we have Minitab. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to Graph, left click on that, go to Probability Distribution Plots, left click onto that, and I want to view probability, so I'm going to left click onto this, hit OK, and now I've got to find the triangular distribution. There it is. Again, I'm going to left click onto that. I'm going to give the lower endpoint, and if you remember, that was 420,000. 420, the mode was 650,000, and the upper end endpoint was 950. And what I want to do, remember we wanted to find the probability that X was greater than 700,000. Well, I left click into shaded area, and I want it to be right tail, so that's darkened right there. So otherwise, I'd have to left click onto right tail. And I want not the probability, but the X value. And the X value, we want to find the probability that X is greater than 700,000. When you hit OK, a graph will appear, and it will be shaded in for you. So we have a probability of point. 3931. So I would go back into my um, Excel and put 0 .3931. So I would input my answer as 0 0.3931. Now I need to find that probability, the probability that the cost will be less than M. Well, I go back into Minitab, again, go to Graph, Probability Distributions, and what's going to be nice is all the parameters I put in will still be there. So here's viewing the probability. Hit OK. All this is here. Shaded area. We want the X value again, but this time we want it to be greater than, or I'm mean, excuse me, less than. So we want the left tail. So I left click into left tail. It's darkened. And the X value there, remember, for the mode was 650,000. I hit OK and out will pop out this. So I've got a 0.4340. So I go back into my Excel and I input that. Now they said the Minitab tab graph illustrating the above result. Well, I go back into Minitab. You can go into the graph and do either Control C, you hit Control and C at the same time, or you can right click and hit Copy Graph. Either way, now you go back into the Excel and I paste the graph. I'm going to have to do some formatting to make it look nice, but inserting some words. And there you have it nicely put in there and answered. So these probability distributions in Minitab are very nice. So now let's look at the next problem, which is a binomial problem. We're going to use both Excel and Minitab to do this. So the probability of obtaining nine or fewer heads if an unfair coin is flipped 15 times, where the probability of getting ahead is 0.65. And we're going to show the Excel function that answers the question. So, what you can do is go over here, and you can find the function if you need to by going into Formulas, Statistical, and look for the binomial distribution. Now, we're looking for probably get like nine or fewer, so the number is nine successes. When we flip it 15 times, 
the probability of a success, remember, was given to us as 0.65. And is this cumulative? Yes. You hit OK, and there's your answer. So I could copy that. And in here, I'm just going to paste the value. And what is the Excel? Well, I can take this. I left clicked into there. there. Copy that and paste it. And there you have the Excel. Now, if I want to graph what I just did, I'm going to open up Mini Tab, and I'm going to show the graph of this. So I go into Mini Tab. Again, I left click on graphs, go to probability distribution, left click on that. I want to view probability, left click on that, and hit OK. Now I need to find the distribution, which is the binomial distribution. Yeah. Number of trials, well, there were 15. Probability of my uh, success was 0.65. And now I want to do the shaded area. And remember what I wanted, everything less than a certain x value. My x value was 9, and we wanted everything to the left. So I hit left tail, left click into left tail, and now I'm ready to hit OK. And out will pop the graph of that particular shaded area. So I'm going to do Control C, go to my Excel file. And I'm going to paste the graph. There I have my distribution. And make it a little bit smaller. And of course, the numbers match. If you got a chance to see that, it's 0.4357, which is better. <laughs> they better match up. So there we have an illustration in Minitab. So you can use both Minitab or Excel to find these probabilities. Now what if we were asked to find the 15th percentile in this distribution? In other words, that x value sets that 15% of the data values are to the left of it. Well, how would you do that? Well, you could use Minitab to help you with this, and this is how you do it. You would go back into the same graph, probability distributions. You want to see probability. We've got the binomial with all our things. And now what we're going to say is our probability, we want the left tail. And in that left tail, we want, we want the 15%. So we go to probability, and we want this to be 15, but in the left tail. And I hit OK. That will get me 0 .1, 0 0.1132. And the default of Minitab is to it won't go more than 15, so maybe one more bar might get me to 15.09. Minitab won't let me know that x value. It will only give me the x value for anything less than 15%. So it might be prudent to go back in here just to make sure and to look at the graph <clears throat> and maybe change the number just a little bit higher. Maybe go to 25% um, or even, let's say, 20%. And we see that this still gives us 11.32, so that's probably the best number to use. So you can play around with this to find out these um, probabilities. Well, I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you in the next installment.